Today, I'm going to throw it down. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah! yeah. Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I have a lot to get done. And I'm actually gonna spread this video out. It's gonna be spread out over uh, multiple days because today is actually Thursday. I'm gonna be cooking on Friday into Saturday. So this is pretty much gonna comprise of my weekend. And let me tell you about what exactly it is I'm gonna be doing. So it's a gift and a curse to be double booked. It's a gift and a curse to be double booked and have to have a total of 50 pounds of chicken prepared. 50 pounds of chicken. Uh, goodness gracious, now that I think about it. 50 pounds of chicken. Um, it is 20 pounds of brisket and 20 pounds of pork, pulled pork plus a couple sides some barbecue sauces and some Hawaii rolls but I have two events on Saturday one event is a friend of mine he's getting married to his uh, soon to be lovely wife um, I've known them for a quite a while car friends they asked me to help them out so I'm gonna help them out and take care of their wedding the other event is actually going to be at a and another you know has grown to be car friend He's got a tuning shop and he does a spring open house and then he also does like a holiday party. Uh, this is spring, so he's this one is for the spring open house. He needs uh, 20 pounds of pulled pork and 20 pounds of chicken delivered. So that's early, early Saturday afternoon. Then my friends who are getting married, they're getting married and their wedding starts at 3.30 on Saturday afternoon uh, so I told the first guy I will try to have his food delivered to him between 1 and 1 30 it should not take me longer than half an hour possibly to set up his food I'll finish setting up his food and then once I finish setting up his food I'll go across town and actually it's a little bit more across town but it shouldn't take me longer than I'm hoping an hour to get to the other event and then I can uh, get that hopefully all set up and I actually want to get there prior to the wedding which starts at 3 30 so that I can start setting up watch them get married and then actually you know serve food I told them I was gonna serve the food um, without billing them for it basically they paid me for the food and the yeah they paid me for the food and the delivery and setup so nonetheless I have a lot of things I need to get done. So what I'm gonna be doing tonight, I'm gonna to be focusing on seasoning my food. Typically, I don't season my food ahead of time. I usually season it while the smoker is uh, coming up to temperature or while the smokers are coming up to temperature. But today's a little bit different because today is a little bit different. I'm actually gonna go ahead and season my uh, meat ahead of time so that's one less thing i have to take care of tomorrow all of the meat that i have to season tonight is actually probably going to take me close to an hour and a half maybe two hours to season uh trim up season and then what i'll do is i'll actually truck it outside to the garages and uh, put it you know cover it up put it in garages so tomorrow when i start the fires what i'll do is i'll take it out of the garages uh, uh, excuse me out of the refrigerators in the garages at that time and then that'll help bring it up to temperature while the smokers are coming up to temperature all right uh next stop when i finish seasoning everything 904 we'll see how long this takes okay so i have my brisket pan all seasoned the pork shoulder all seasoned and i have the two pans of chicken all seasoned one of them is the breast, one of them is the thighs. All right, so at this point, you guys, can you see what time it is? It's 11.45. I expected it to take me two hours to get this done. It took almost three, and I still have to do some things out in the garage. But these are the things that you wanna do so that you're not having to do them while you're trying to cook or before you can actually get your fire started. So I have to take these things back or out to the garage. 
I also would like to put water into the smokers tonight and I also need to gather wood. I'm not gonna be able to do gather wood tonight and I'm def definitely not gonna be able to put water in the smokers tonight. So I'm hoping I can get these things out into the refrigerators out in the garage is pretty quickly and then I'll be back and done in hopefully less than half an hour, 45 minutes. We'll see what happens. Day two. What do we have going on in here? Oh my goodness. Look at this thick dirty smoke coming up out of Bessie. But I got the new smoker started first. So it's burning a little cleaner right now. It's actually almost ready to put food on in there. Let me show you what I did. So this side, on the right side, we're at what, about 175. And here on the other side, we're creeping up just past 200, almost at two and a quarter. Golly, this thing is full of spiders. Wow. See that thing jump right at me? Oh, there you go. All right, so I have plenty of water down in the water chamber there. Uh, the water chamber is full up to just under this uh, main stay there. I have the, that baffle plate I put in here and I, I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. But uh, haven't figured that out. But I figure I'll cook on on this shelf. I'll primarily be cooking probably on just this, this, and this section here. When Kirk said he cooked on it, he said he primarily cooked on it on this side here. So we'll see what it does. In oh, there we go. Uh, in this smoker today, I'm going to be cooking uh, the pork shoulder and in Bessie I'm gonna be doing brisket and uh, chicken so yeah all right but we're gonna let this the stick heavy smoke dissipate that's nasty smoke you guys see that got nasty and dirty that smoke is let's let's check on the fire oh it's it's burning so eyes are burning I'm sweating like crazy it's hot it's like almost 90 degrees and full on 100% humidity I pulled the food out of the refrigerator so it can kind of come up to a slightly warmer uh, temperature it's not gonna get to room temperature by the time these ladies or lady and gentlemen I don't know still haven't decided on a new smoker just yet a name still thinking about it I usually let or I usually cook through it at least a time or two and the name will come to me. A name will come to me. Or one of you guys' suggestions might just, you know, go over the top and I'll be like, oh, there, there it is right there. That's that's the name. So I haven't quite figured out what it's gonna be just yet, but nonetheless, I have both of them fired up. I figure the brisket and the chicken I can cook in Bessie, and the pork shoulder I can cook in uh, the new smoker. Can't really mess up pork shoulder, even if I cook it way too high, all I have to do is cook it to temperature and I'll be good to go. That's why I'm experimenting with that. But I have a lot of pork to cook, a lot of chicken to cook, and a lot of brisket to cook. So nonetheless, I am going to uh, sit over by the door. One of you guys asked me what I do when I light the smoker, if I stay in the garage. No, I don't. I kind of try to stay around the garage though because it is a lot of smoke that's pouring out. And just in case somebody walks past and sees all the smoke and decides to call the fire department even though i have reached out to the fire communications in baltimore city and let them know i was starting fire 
So that usually helps me out and avoids the fire department from coming. Nonetheless, I'll pick this up in about, maybe about 45 minutes or so. Yep, about 45 minutes once the, um, the thick, heavy smoke dissipates. All right, so it's been about a half an hour and I'm back out in the garage. And when I say it's warm in here, whew, look, all the smoke is pretty much dissipated. And there's not even any smoke coming off of this one. Sheesh. But the temperature here is at 300 degrees on this side and we're at a little over 300 here, like 310. And then on this side, I have the, now I do have the vents wide open here. Let's throttle these back. All right, that'll bring the temperature down. Now, because I'm cooking chicken in here, I want the chicken to be done a little more evenly. I'm gonna use the middle rack as opposed to the lower rack because I'm probably just gonna do uh, all chicken thighs on this lower level. And I'll do the three briskets I have up top and chicken breast on this side. So I'm gonna get those things uh, out from over there and into the smoker. This one, I did just uh, throttle the intake back a bit. And I think I'll throttle it back some more and we'll see if I can get the temperature down. But I could just open the doors up and let the heat come out that way, but I'd much rather throttle it back with using the intake. This one on the other hand, I know what, you know, I know what to do on this one. So I'm gonna get this, this one, I'm gonna get Bessie loaded up and we'll go from there. So now, if I really wanted to, I could probably just put the third shelf down at the bottom here and put everything I need to inside and cook it all in one smoker. But what fun would that be? Uh, while I was loading up the other smoker, I told you, or I showed you, that I turned this one down. So we're at 275 on this side and uh, just about 275 this side. And uh, I, I like those temperatures. So let me show you what I did. Um, whew, it is warm in there. I told you that I put the baffle, a little plate down in there, and there's plenty of water in here, and I'm going to get this, uh, this one loaded up. We're gonna get the uh, port shoulder in here. I have uh, six pieces. So I'm gonna put the bigger pieces that I have over here and then to the smaller pieces since it's warmer on this side. So let me get you set up somewhere and uh, you can watch me work.
All right. So I've loaded up both smokers and uh, the new smoker seems to be temperature dropped down to about 175. It's climbing back up though. That, that's positive. That has me thinking that's good. I did add some more wood into that smoker and Bessie also fell on her face a little bit because of the fact that I added some more meat. So I added a few more logs in there as well. Let's see what this looks like. She could probably stand to have a little more air introduced. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be patient. Let it go for a couple minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes and see where she settles in at. If I need to open up the intake to allow more air in because I added so much meat um, and it's sucking out all of the heat in the smoker, I'll do that. Same thing with the uh, new smoker. I'm just gonna be observant and patient and see what they do. Uh, I can already tell I, I'm gonna need to add some more wood here on this one to get that fire going a little bit. And once I get the fire going, uh, the residual heat should keep it pretty much, uh, should get it where I want it to be and then mellow it out. So I'm gonna add some more wood and uh, I'll keep watching. Okay, so it's been about an hour since I put everything into the smoker, but the new smoker, Dude, talk about subtle right in. Man, look at that there. And look at Bessie. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I couldn't ask for anything better. <sighs> I'm happy, I'm happy. Again, I could have cooked everything in Bessie, but that wouldn't have been any fun for the new smoker. Anyway, I'm gonna to continue to monitor these guys. I am, it is hot, 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 and it is super hot standing in between these two smokers. They are giving off lots of heat. Um, but I am excited. Working exactly as I need it to. Okay, so I'm back out at these smokers, and it's been a couple hours, and man, the new smoker, fitting right in. I actually just cracked the um, the air inlet slightly. I was just trying to bring the temperature up just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, I actually haven't opened up the smoker since I started. Ooh, that was hot. And it has been a couple hours. Oh yeah, we're looking good in there. We are definitely looking good. I'm gonna close this back off. Okay, and I have Bessie, I'm, I'm ramping Bessie back up. I was just in Bessie adjusting some things, uh, saucing the chicken, moving some other things around. Um, so she's right where she should be. But at this point, I'm going to, uh, I just put some more wood into Bessie. So she should be coming up um, temperature wise. And uh, I'm just, I'm happy. The, the new smoker has been rather chill and uh, just running how I expect it to run, the way that I'm running it. No major, no major issues at all whatsoever. Uh, Bessie, she's doing what she's doing. Like I said, she's coming up to temperature. I just added some wood. So just gonna wait to see where she settles in back at. I'ma sit take this, the chair stool and sit over there. Cause as you can see, it's hot out here. Uh, I'm going to uh, sit my butt down for a couple minutes and watch the temperatures and add wood and adjust uh, Bessie accordingly, as well as the new smoker. But I think, I think it's settling in right where I need it to be. So that's fine. All right, I'll be back with y'all in a bit. All right, so I just ended the live stream. If you were in the live stream, thank you so very much. And you know what? If you weren't in the live stream, do me a solid. If you're watching this video, one of my subscribers, one of you guys, has got a YouTube channel that is pretty much not up and coming. He's just starting. And I would love to help him out a little bit. So in the live stream, we got him from six subscribers to 10 subscribers. I'm asking you guys to get him up to 100, all right? Torgi, 
This is for you. Torgi's Traveling Barbecue, okay? Look up Torgi's Traveling Barbecue. So far, he's got some videos of him building his smoker. Let's provide him, let's give him some uh, encouragement to help him to get that smoker up and coming. He did a brisket video, and uh, you know, he and I talked about the brisket video and some things, some, some things to improve upon, but nonetheless, He's doing it. This is what I'm telling you guys that you can do as well. All you have to do is get your phone, get your camera, make a video. It's gonna suck in the beginning. It is, but it'll get better. He's gotten better over the videos that I've watched from him as far as his editing and things like that. So do me a solid, look up Torgy's channel. It's T-O-R-G-E-Y apostrophe S traveling barbecue. Hopefully you won't be disappointed, Torgy, Torgy. Torgy, don't disappoint us. Please don't disappoint us. All right, that was, you know. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys this chicken. For those of you who were not on the live stream, and unfortunately I don't have my, uh, my LED light, but I wanted to show you guys this chicken uh, because the chicken is done, and I'm going to get the chicken out of the smoker, and uh, then we are going to continue this cook. I'm thinking about wrapping up everything and putting it into the new smoker to cook in the new smoker. What do you guys think? Think I should do that? I think I might do that. All right, so I did decide and I am going to, in fact, go ahead and get my, I put the briskets inside of the uh, new smoker and I'm going to pull my pork shoulder and wrap them up and, you know, wrap them up and put them also back into the smoker. I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little bit. And since this is such, so well insulated, I'm gonna let it cook inside of there. Let it finish inside of the big, the inside of the new smoker. Uh, and uh, since I don't have enough room to take this stuff and put it inside of the house in the oven, I'm gonna wrap it up and finish it in the new smoker. I have Bessie wide open so she can go ahead and get rid of the sticks that, that she has in there. And actually what I might do is take those sticks out of there and put them down there. Might as well not waste them. So, whew, I'm dying here, it's hot. Uh, once I finish getting the, um, once I finish getting the pork shoulders in the pans, I will go ahead and uh, get everything wrapped up and put back into the uh, new smoker. So I'll see y'all. I'll probably see y'all when this is done. All right, bye.